Gene demo from details part one. Okay, so we just did our shape, so now we're ready to do details. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, my details front, or you just call it details. Uh, I am going to go to my shape layer, and I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to go, since I already did the inside back, I'm going to lift that a little bit, just so I can just pick up the front of the waistband. So I'm going to go ahead with my white arrow and marquee select with my direct selection tool, the front waistband, control C or edit copy, lock the layer, details front, control F, paste in front, down arrow key, and I can create my waistband. So I'm going to start from top to bottom on the details. Uh, I'm going to go back to my shape and just bring this down so it doesn't bother me visually. So I'm just going to do down arrow, bring it in. and go back and lock the layer. So I'm going to go to my details layer and unlock that and work off my details. Okay, so right off the bat um, I need to make the line a little bit longer and we're just going to do a standard what we consider average. Your jeans might be a little different, each jeans a little different so I'm going to press Alt, my uh, selection tool, select my line, press Alt and click on the bounding box on the side and extend my line and make sure that it doesn't pass the boundaries but that it touches that there, there are no gaps. Next I want to make a stitch line uh, that goes on each side of the band so I'm going to select the line, press Alt, okay and I'm going to go ahead and go to my stroke menu give it a point zero, uh, point two five stroke, uh, round cap, uh, dash line and I'm going to do one point dash, one point gap and I want to make sure that it's really close to the edge. Perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and take this line and I'm going to make a copy. So I'm going to press Alt. Oops. Go back. I'm going to select uh, the line, press Alt, make a copy of it, bring it up. And this time I'm going to press Alt and select the bounding box, but I'm going to bring it in because it's too long. And I'm so sorry, my computer is just very slow right now. Please bear with me. And just make sure it matches top and bottom. Now, the inside back also needs a stitch line because there's a stitch line running here. There's another one running there. So make sure you press Shift, get a nice straight line. And there you go. Okay. So you have now your stitch details. Second, uh, next what I'm going to do um, is go ahead and add my center front seam. So I'm going to go on the very top and it's just going to be a straight line. So I'm going to press shift and bring it right down to the crotch. Um, this should be the same stroke width as your shape. So if my shape is one point, which it should be, you should be using and make it a solid line. Then I go ahead and do one stroke, solid line. Okay, next on my waistband is going to be belt loops. Um, and we have a button and a buttonhole. So belt loops, uh, you use the rectangle tool. Draft your rectangle. It needs to be longer than the width of your band. So reference it. That's a little too big. Men's usually are a little bit bigger. Women's tends to be a little bit smaller. Um, that looks about right. A um, couple of things. I'm going to go ahead and make the stroke with 0.75, just a little bit thinner. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. The details on the belt loop are uh, one stitch line on either side and a zigzag on the top and the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and draw a straight line. Press Shift. And I'm going to make it a dashed line. And the stroke width is going to be 0 0.25. And I'm going to go ahead and select here where it says the line dashes uh, two corners and path ends. You actually want to do that for your belt loop. So I'm going to do that and then press Alt to make a copy. Just slightly moved it. So let me bring it up 
down. There you go. In terms of the zigzag, you're just going to do a straight line on the top and press shift. Make sure it's solid line. And you're just going to go ahead and go to top menu, effect, distort and transform, zigzag. And you're going to click preview. And don't panic, you're going to make the size much smaller. You're going to put about 0 0.25 size and then you're going to increase ridges per segment. Now I'm going to go ahead and make it an odd number so they both end up whoops no 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 zero point two five there we go and they both ended on the top and I'm going to go ahead and click OK then I'm going to select my line bring it down and I'm going to make a copy and bring that down as well. Also my belt loop needs a fill so the, sh the waistband doesn't show through so I'm going to just select the actual rectangle just the rectangle I'm going to give it because this is black and white a white fill and now I can marquee select the entire belt loop with my selection tool right click group and now I can pick up the entire thing without a problem and once you do that I do recommend that you turn this into a symbol you can open up your symbol library which is a three-leaf clover uh, drag it on over to your uh, symbol library and turn it into a symbol which we've discussed in class I'm gonna go ahead and position this on my jeans now if you notice my jeans are slightly curved so the straight on view doesn't work I need to rotate it and the top and the bottom need to be parallel to the top and the bottom of the waistband. So I'm going to select the belt loop with my selection tool. And you're just going to scroll over until you get that double-ended arrow. You're just going to rotate, freehand rotate. Okay. That works for me. And once you're happy with it, you're just going to select it and select reflect. Press Alt, click on the mirror line, vertical copy and takes it on to the other side. Next is your button which you're going to use a perfect circle so use the ellipse tool and press shift and just careful that the button isn't too big or too small but that's a little too big. So I'm going to press shift and scale it down. It can't be too tiny either though. Just going to scale it down just slightly more make a copy of that. I'm going to zoom in and again I'm going to scale it down just a little bit more and at this point um, I'm going to make it point zero 0.05 make it a thinner stroke and I'm going to lift that up a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of that circle and I'm going to make it even smaller make it smaller and make the stroke even thinner I'm just going to center it my smart guides will tell me that there you go and that's my button uh, last you're going to do your buttonhole for your waistband you're just going to create a little shape get your pen tool and you're going to do like a sideways teardrop basically is the goal so click on that and close it but I'm going to make it kind of fatter on one end and a little thinner on the other so kind of like a teardrop kind of like that will work and for now I'm going to take out the fill and for this uh, 0 0.25 is almost too thick I want to do 0 point about 0.15 approximately and round cap round join and align stroke to center and I'm going to go ahead and apply the zigzag again. So go to top menu, effect, distort and transform, zigzag. And I'm going to make it about 0 0.25 size. I'm going to click preview, by the way, so you can see. And then I'm just going to increase uh, ridges per segment. I do want to make it smooth, though. I don't want to make it corner, so I'm going to select smooth. And then I'm just going to increase the ridges per segment. So I get about this look perfect I'm gonna click OK 
And a couple of things, this has to go behind the button. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit, it's a little too long, so I'm going to bring it in. And my button needs to be in front of it, so arrange, bring to front. And that's why my button needs to have both circles, need to have a white fill. And arrange, bring to front, because the button needs to be in front of the buttonhole. And I'm going to nudge it off to the side, so this is how it would be. There you go. Go off to the side. There you go. Okay, so that's my button and buttonhole. And that concludes our detail front part one for your denim jeans.